day. So I just got back to motocross track. Um, you guys probably just saw that video yesterday. Um, but I got the uh, Creighton fixed up when I got back here. Had the shock and the drive shaft for that. Um, so that's fixed. I uh, got the Typhon fixed up again. And I have the crappy... Eh, set of drive shafts in the slash again but that's all i had at the moment so until i get a set of good metal ones it'll have to do but when i was at the hobby store i made a little impulse buy again i've been thinking about getting one of these cars and i don't have a short wheelbase yet so i bought a granite seen a lot of people had a lot of fun with these cars uh since i don't have a short wheelbase i know you can really do some uh tricks and flips with these things so i figured i'd give one a whirl got the 3s version uh Got a set of the RPM arms for it already. So we are going to get this thing unboxed and check it out. All right, guys, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty nice. And this is the best moment right here. <sighs> Peeling off the new plastic. So we got her out of the box here. Um, sharp looking truck. I'm not going to go over all the specifications and details on this thing and bore everybody because, you know, if you want to look it up, uh, go for it. But anyway, you obviously get your truck, your box that you throw away. You have your 3S brushless system. It's got the uh, EC, uh, EC5 connector on already, which is great because that's what I have on all my batteries and all mine. Speaking of which, there goes my battery charger. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for the interruption. Uh, you get your truck, all that good stuff. Your decal kit and some spare parts, um, tire wrench, which strips out in two seconds, and your controller. The uh, STX2, which, I mean, they're okay controllers. I don't really care for them because they're kind of laggy. They don't have real quick response to the throttle, especially. So I will be putting one of my FlySky receivers in this and uh, changing that out so that it's on my FlySky controller with all my other ones. So the other thing I'm going to test out and probably change out pretty quickly is the servo because these servos aren't very quick. Um, but I haven't used it on the short wheelbase or this truck, so we'll see what it's like. If it's like all the other ones, I'll be changing that out also. Later on, I'm going to put the uh, AP, uh, RPMA arms on it and maybe even put... I have a servo if I don't like the servo. I already have a 20 kilogram servo I have here for it. So if I don't like it, I'll be throwing that on there also. But we're going to throw a battery in this thing and give her a quick test out. All right, guys, got a battery in here. Servo doesn't feel too terrible in here right now, so I might use it until it dies. But um, we're going to give this thing a quick little test out. Ah, oh, there's that lag of that control. It's like you hit it and it doesn't instantly go. Definitely will do wheelies. thing I noticed I'm gonna have to do is uh, put some heavier shock oil in this thing because it's definitely not stiff enough for me right now. enjoyed the video today just a short one here with an unboxing and showing you the new toy um looking forward to taking this thing out to the motocross track or the bmx park or somewhere and giving this thing a good beat down but i'm gonna get the rpma arms on it first uh, beef up the shocks a little bit with some heavier oil and spring spacers and most importantly i'm gonna put my fly sky receiver in this so i can get rid of that stock controller because the lag on it's just driving me crazy forgot how bad those things were but until next time everyone y'all be safe out there be careful 
Peace out.